Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot, this is Rad and in this whole video um, I'm going to have a look into Leo, ex Leo experiences throughout the week October 26th to November 1st 2020 and uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below uh, where you're going to find a link to my website and the very very front page you're going to see full list of my services as well their pricing and uh, if you are interested in tarot you want to start learning tarot as well i'm offering tarot classes uh, for you to start up with uh, which are can, which can be found on the website as well under the tarot classes section so with that being said moving to the spread straight away which is a eight card spread divided into two layers first layer is going to uh, divulge on your uh, romance on your emotions as well so you can consider it as a relationship layer and the second layer divulges on um, professional manifestation so you can consider it as a career layer as well so leo let's uh for making the things a little bit more easier to me i'm gonna go layer by layer so let's interpret the first layer first before we move to the second one so in terms of relationship you do have the uh empress first card followed by the star now that's very huh that is very uh, interesting that we do have here. Now, um, recently I'm getting the star into this position very, very frequently and uh, or very, very frequent. And the card isn't bad. It's just, you know, what can I say? It's not ideal, let's say that way. Uh, the third card we have for you is the sun. And the last one, that will be the king of pentacles and that is a pattern that we do have when the star is always into the second position we always have a beautiful card on the third and it just doesn't make much sense okay unless the star is one and only thing saying that things are to happen very very slowly before you realize you will see as i'm going with the reading okay so this reading here speaks uh, or touches the most those that are single okay and pretty much what the reading divulges for them it is that throughout this week they definitely are going to have some kind of an interaction regardless if that interaction is through the internet say facebook some kind of dating apps as well or it's going to be in person type of an interaction but what is certain here is that their behavior and their how can i say the way how they react on the environment and so on and so forth will highly attract people and uh, people are to see you very cheerful people are to see you very oh my god i can't find the word sweet let's say it that way and they will want to be a part of your daily routine that's first okay how the things are going to develop from there well that depends on how you act and this may exhaust you at certain stage here with the empress where you may decide that you you just need a, a little bit of a break like you just need to withdraw yourself from the midst of all these activities just to gather up your thoughts and decide you know for example which place you are going to devote your time at or which person you are going to divide your time at now with the with the star into the second position to me that personally speaks for Oh my God, it's, it, it is like a uh, either a way too big of a hopes or completely diminished hopes. And in this case, having the sun into the second position, I consider it as a completely diminished hopes and uh, uh, ideals in a sense of that. I don't know. You may presume that things that somebody doesn't love you while they love you, for example. You may presume that things are not gonna work out with somebody while they can work out. You may presume that somebody loves you while they don't love you, okay? So the, the point with the star here that you do have is that you should not focus on, on the future, but you rather need to focus on now, uh, on the now moment, and you need to uh, kind of be objective about it rather than dream about it okay if that if that makes uh if that makes sense with the empress however at the very prime of the reading for you leo things should 
uh, touch on the comfort. Or in other words, whom from the, from the people that you are to interact gives you the most comfort out there. And that should be the person that you are to invest into, which will be pretty clear here by the end of the week with the King of Pentacles, because there by the end of the week, we do have an, an investment that happens within you. And that investment could be emotional, could be material investment as well. Like somebody give, uh, presents you with gifts, somebody helps you with something just because they like you, just because they have an emotional connection to you. And, and that's why I do think that it's, it's going to be a little bit of a bolt, you know, because somebody well, if you are single, love may not be still on the plate here, but that person definitely by the end of the week is going to have an emotional connection to you. And uh, you can move on to commit into a relationship moving forward into the future. But because the star is sitting here into the second position, it's going to put a, a, a delay to it. So you got to be patient on top of it. On the plus side of the reading, though, um, this week itself presents you with a, a, a an energies to grow in terms of a relationship and love. If you do look for love, that energy looking for love is going to grow and you're going to find such. So uh, people that are already committed for that uh, particular reading that we do have here, they also need to focus on the moment and instead of uh, placing a demands on their expectations, they need to look around and see how much can be accomplished with the current situation. You know, everybody wants to have everything, but sometimes that's not possible. And with the sun, they need to rather lean to the natural unfoldment on the situation rather than daydreaming of what could have been, okay? Just focus on what is and try to make the most out of it. And as you do, by the end of the week here, you both with the King of Pentacles, you both are going to invest mm, balancedly or uh, in a fashion of balance in the relationship. So that, that feeling that you may have at the start of the reading that one is pulling the relationship forward and the other is doing nothing is not going to be present because you both are going to do your parts in it. So moving next, we do have the uh, career manifestation here or professional manifestation. That will be the justice first card. Moving next, we do have the queen of swords followed by uh, the strength card is the third one. And the last that we do have, that will be the five of cups. So the week in terms of career for you, especially those that are working, is going to be rather very, very busy. Uh, people that you depend on mainly your boss, mainly your supervisor are going to seriously breathe in your neck here is seen with the Queen of Swords into the second position. Um, and they will have a good reason to do so. And it's just, how can I say, they will have a good reason because what they will demand from you to do or to accomplish throughout the week, like the deadline, you know, or like the quotes, um, or the quantity or the quality that it is expected from you to get, they can accomplish it themselves, all right? And that's why they presume that everybody is going to be like them. But I'm not saying that you're not skilled as them, but there are other um, influences over the quality of the work that you do not control and they do not take under account. For example, sabotaging. Somebody may sabotage your work. Somebody may not be subordinate to your work while they have to and so on and so forth. So that person is not going to care about those stuff. OK, it's something like I have uh, hired you to solve the problem, not to explain to me what the problem is. OK, so they will expect results no matter what. And that's why you're going to find yourself in a rather very busy routine throughout the week in terms of your career. And here with the justice at the first card, that is actually very positive to the Queen of Swords as we do have it into the second. Because the uh, justice here speaks that if you do take your time at the very first day of the week, say Monday or say Tuesday, 
to manage to, to to make a plan how best you are to manage your time and to manage your uh, your resources in other words you do have a astute discernment about the situation and you are able to discern that this project is more important than that project so i have to go to this project while i want to uh, while i want to develop more that project all right and you are completely objective about the uh, tasks and about the responsibilities that you will have to undertake, uh, things are going to go very smooth. Things are going to go very fine for you. Uh, and at the end of the day here or by the end of the week with the five of cups, while you are to be very exhausted uh, and in a sense displeased of the week, not of your results, but of the week because it was very busy, because you couldn't do the things the way you, you wanted to do, but you had to follow, you know, the expectations of a certain person. Still, you are going to be, uh, how can I say, um, feeling, well, it's, it's kind of a contradictory here. So you're going to be displeased that the week was like it was, but still you're going to be pleased that it is over and that you accomplish the results that have been expected, if that makes sense. OK, and uh, whether you like it or not, there isn't other way around it here with the uh, strength sitting on the third position of the spread. The strength pretty much points that you have to understand that you are there for what that person says. You are there to do your job. You are there to solve problems. You are there to make money. You are not there to be liked by people. You are not there to make friends and you are not there on a competition okay you are there to work so that person is on a charge they ask you to do something just do it if it doesn't work out it's their fault it's not yours so that being said uh leo that was your uh, weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh we may see each other next time until then bye